Hello there, my name's Andy Heather. I'm the technique editor for Digital Photo Magazine, and in this Photoshop Genius video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this spellbinding and enchanting image of a girl holding the moon in the palms of her hands in just four simple Photoshop steps. It really is that easy to create this fantasy composite. We've provided some sample images for you. They're in the Start Images folder. If you'd like to practice with them, you can follow along with me now. So I'll close down this window and let's get started. Bear in mind that this technique works in either Photoshop or Elements, so whichever app you're using, simply go up to File, Open, and then navigate to the Start Images folder, and in there you'll find a short called MoonGirl.jpg. Double-click that, and it should appear on screen. Make sure that your Layers panel is also visible, so go to Window and make sure that Layers is ticked, and you should be able to see a Layers panel on the right-hand side like this. And you'll have one layer in there, and it's called Background, and it's locked. You can see a little padlock icon there. Next we'll go back to that file menu and this time we'll select place and inside that start images folder you'll find a shot called moon.jpg so double click that and it'll be placed into your shot. Now it's a little bit small at the moment so hold down the shift key if you're using Photoshop to constrain the proportions or in elements simply tick the constrain proportions checkbox and that'll make sure that it doesn't warp as you make it larger and drag these corner handles out until both images are the same size. When you're done, hit enter, and that'll place the moon in the right position. Now all we've got to do is go to the quick selection tool, which is this icon, or W on your keyboard. Click on that to activate the tool, make the brush a little bit bigger. You can do that with the left or right square bracket keys. And then click once on the moon to select the whole thing. And there you go, Photoshop has intelligently made a selection around that moon. Now all we need to do to cut it out is to hit the Create Layer Mask icon, which looks like this. It's like a, a white or pale rectangle with a dark circle in the middle. Click that once, and the background has disappeared, and the moon is all that's left. And it's as simple as that to make the cutout. Now it's already looking pretty good, but there's a little bit more refinement we can do, so let's move on to the next step. We'll create a new layer above the moon in the layer stack by holding down Shift, Control, Alt, and N and pressing all those keys at the same time gets you a new layer at the top of the stack or you can simply click on this create a new layer icon we'll activate the brush tool which is over here or you can click B on your keyboard and make sure that white is your foreground color you can do that by hitting D on your keyboard and then X to flip the colors around and make sure that you've got a round soft brush like this active and then make your brush a little bit bigger than the moon because we're going to create a glow effect. So click once where the moon is and there we have a glow effect. But at the moment it's obscuring the details of the moon which I don't really want. So I'm going to go over to the layers panel, grab that layer one by clicking it and then drag it down beneath the moon so that now it is essentially behind the moon. We're looking at the moon first, then we're looking at the glow and then we're looking at the model. So that's the order of the elements going from front to back. First we see the moon, then we see the glow, and then we see the model. Now I can see the details in the face of the moon, that looks much nicer, but it's a little bit too strong, I think, that glow effect. So I'm going to change the opacity by clicking on where it says 100% and dragging that slider down to, let's say, 20. And I'm also gonna change the blending mode, so I'm gonna click on where it says normal, and I'll change that to screen. And now if I turn this layer off, and on again, you can see the effect it's had on the final image. It's not too strong, but it's definitely visible. Okay, let's take it a little bit further by painting in some virtual highlights. So we'll create another new layer, with layer 1 still active and still selected. Hit Shift, Control, Alt and N to create another new layer, and this is going to be our highlights. With the brush tool again, let's make it a little bit smaller, and we'll paint inside anywhere that should be logically lit by the moon. So I'm zooming in by pressing Control and Plus, and then I'm dragging the sliders around so I can see clearly. Now I'm going to make my brush nice and small so I can paint inside these fingers, and then I'm very roughly just going to paint a line along the finger where I feel like the highlights should be. Because the moon is right next to her hand, so logically these parts should be very bright. I also think there should be some light on the forearms here, so I'll paint some highlights in there and there. I don't need to go all the way up to the edge because I'm going to blur it, and in blurring it, I'm going to expand the effect.
you can take a little bit more time over it if you like but for me for the purposes of this video I think that'll be fine I'm going to reduce the opacity of that layer to 20% as well which looks better but I don't like the hard edge around that highlight it looks very artificial so I'm going to need to blur that I'll go up to filter and then blur and then Gaussian blur click that once I'll make my radius 10 pixels or thereabouts and if you have a look at the edges of the highlights in the image now they are a bit softer and they're looking a little bit more natural I can even turn off the preview so you can see the original and then turn it back on again and there they are softened I'll click OK there to accept those changes and now we'll move on to the final step we'll make those highlights a little bit stronger by duplicating that layer so we'll hit Control and J to duplicate the layer and then we'll change the blending mode to overlay and that's going to give them a little bit of a pop if you'd like to make that effect a bit stronger, you can increase the opacity of the layer to, say, 40%. I'll click outside that slider to close it, and then I'll hit Control and 0 on my keyboard so that the image becomes full screen again. And I'll just turn off the visibility of that second highlights layer, the overlay layer. So that's the shot without the overlay layer, and that's the shot with the overlay layer. So I've just made that effect a little bit stronger and made those highlights pop a little bit more. And there we have it. That is how you can put the moon in your model's hands in just four simple steps. All that's left to do is go to File, Save As, and save your shot as a JPEG with a new name, and that'll create a nice small file that's easy to share online. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you managed to comp the moon into somewhere interesting, be sure to send it to us at dpimages at bowermedia.co.uk. We always look forward to seeing your shots. Thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you again next time. Bye-bye for now.